The semi-final B had the master Marcus Feldman on pole with Alain Bernard and Audi behind him. Whilst German Jörg Schumer received a stop and go in the opening laps and would ultimately finish one place outside of the final. Also, Jeron Rievling wouldn't go any further. Former world champion Martin Lissau was the next shock exit from the event, following air filter damage suffered in this crash. Alain Bernard and Audi, having been in the lead for most of the race, with moments to go, came off worse in his battle with Marcus Feldman landing in the grass. But having a fit mechanic pays off. He makes third place on the final grid. The semi-final A had its share of action, Mathieu Briere coming off worse in this battle, but still makes ninth on the final grid. But for the most part it was uneventful, with Alice Bayer supreme running miles ahead of anyone else, maintaining the speed and the drive he'd shown all week, untouchable, until sadly, with two minutes to go, he's in the grass, stalled his mechanic unable to restart him, and with the race officials screaming for him to return to the pit lane, we assume he ran out of fuel. The favourite for the event was out, leaving his brother to win the semi-A and take the second spot on the final grid behind current champion Marcus Feldman. The final race began with a clean looking lap, very few knocks and bumps from the drivers eager to get ahead. Though before long, Marcus and Martin began to break away. But seven laps in, Marcus put his foot down, leaving Bayer, Arnaldi and car four of Dario Vaselli to battle for second place. Feldman, having held the championship for four years now, has no intention of giving it up. Dario, meanwhile, appeared to have much more speed than Arnaldi, but couldn't seem to find a way past. Similarly, Martin Bayer, not even five minutes into the race, has no interest in playing this safe. He makes his bid for the lead. But Marcus is in trouble. The man who's been unbeatable for a long time has stalled 10 laps into this race and is helplessly waiting for his mechanic. After several tugs, it's clear the engine won't restart. Back at the front and in a split second, this race has been blown wide open. Martin Bayer doesn't hang about, but yellow car three of Elaine Bernard Arnaldi is hot on his heels. Moments later, Marcus is in the pit lane, and now at least we know we will have a new European champion. As things stand, we have Bayer in first, Arnaudi close second, and Dario Vaselli in third, but gaining all the time. But right behind them, the race is just as action packed. Former world champion Hessel Roskam is gunning his red and yellow car to take fourth place from Nicola Constantin Marone. At times just inches ahead of him with the yellow car 10 of Cedric Prevost right behind him. Moments later, Prevost passes Roskam and takes fourth from Marone. Back at the front, orange-blue car of Dario is piling the pressure on Arnaldi for second place. He's set back by a bad turn and a spin out. But before long it pays off and 35 laps in, Dario takes second place. But by now he has lap traffic between him and leader Martin Bayer. Ten minutes to go and a few tricky moments. Car six of Oliver Sampietro lands in the grass as does Frenchman Mathieu Briere. Car 10 of Cedric Prevost continues to show he means business, holding on to fourth place for most of the race. Behind him is Hessel Roskam, fifth place up from seventh on the grid. 
but out in front now, by a long way, remains Martin Bayer. Second, and in a rather similar colour scheme, is Dario Vaselli, eager to catch up but struggling a bit in the corners. Bayer, however, but for a few issues with back markers, drove lap after lap calmly and consistently, despite knowing that barring disasters, he was moments away from winning his first ever European Championship. Well, a few nerves are to be expected, but Martin Bayer seals the deal and he is the new European large-scale touring car champion. At this race, we start with prototype car for next year and prototype engine. So it was every round just learning and understanding to car how it goes. And so it was a lot of work to, to get the car like, like for win. So I'm very happy then, then we did this very well and it's prototype. So it's, it's very good. Did you see Marcus go out? Now, was there a feeling that there's some more possibilities here now? I just see then he stop, stop on the track, but I didn't, I didn't feel or thinking nothing. I just again drive, drive. So I was not thinking about this, and he, he is out of the race, so I have more chance. So was we drive the whole final just with no mistakes, and then it comes. So Barry, tell us about the final. It starts okay. I, I was on the four position, make some mistakes. Be behind uh, Martin Bayer, Feldman, and Arnaldi. Try to push, but uh, when I see the Feldman is going out, so I push to Arnaldi. But Martin is, he was so fast that he is little going in front of Arnaldi. So I was faster than Arnaldi, but I can't go through. I was waiting some mistake, but this was my second final in my life in European Championship in touring car, and uh, I, w I was also saving the fuel and. There was nothing a couple of minutes, so when he makes a mistake, I pass uh, Arnaldi and try to go with Bayer, but he was fast, he was constant, and I, I make some mistakes, but this is the final, so... Hey, my course, I let, uh, he made a, a good start, and the beginning, the, the car was, uh, the feeling was uh, very good, the car was easy. And between the semi-final and the final, we changed something on the car, on the setup. And uh, it was good, but not enough because the car, after um, uh, half uh, final, after 50 minutes, uh, the car was a little bit um, difficult to drive. Now I am uh, um, maybe five or six times uh, second at the European Championship, this, this year third. I must work more for catch the... The, the first place. Uh, I would like to thank you to all our SIF team because they did a great job with new car with new engine so I would just to thank them to help and my brother and all two team drivers because we work together and finally you make the setup which make me in, in the winner so thank you for that guys.